Welcome to another Wednesday session and today we'll be talking about how to effortlessly practice mindfulness. So, yeah. so I'm Dr. Shanaz from uh, Certified Smriti Meditation Practitioner and an Ayurveda Practitioner. So, you know, today I'll be talking about how to incorporate mindfulness in your daily life with simple exercises and simple activities. So have you ever tried mindfulness or is there anyone who regularly practice mindfulness in your daily life? Quickly just respond to me in the chat box. Is there anyone who practice mindfulness? Or do you know what mindfulness is? Yeah, we are getting some responses. And is saying she practices mindfulness. That's interesting. Nikki is also saying yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's quickly have a short exercise and start with a practice of mindfulness. So take a minute, stop everything that you are doing and slowly focus on your breath. Close your eyes and just focus on your breath. Can you feel your mind or can you feel the rush of energy up and down the body? Just observe. By not changing this moment, just try to be present in this moment. Just watch this whole moment and observe on what's happening. What is that you're feeling? What is that you're seeing when you close your eyes? And what's that you're hearing? Just quickly monitor, slowly observe. Now, let's tell me the experience of this mindfulness practice that you just had. What were the thoughts that coming? Is there, you know, was there any thoughts coming to your mind? Were you able to be present at the moment? Were you able to enjoy this moment? How was the experience? Just quickly tell me in the chat box. Were you able to feel your mind? Were you able to feel your body? your sensations or the things that you heard or were you able to see something? How was it? Mm -hmm. Zailibat. I hope I'm pronouncing the name right. She's saying that she felt her heartbeat. That's great. Hema Nana felt peaceful. Mm -hmm. Raluka says, the stillness of my mind was really good. Yes, felt calm. Heard the words. That's great. Nikki says, feeling of calmness. Christine was focusing on breathing. Yeah. So many experienced calmness, right? So this is what we intend to incorporate in the daily life. So what is basically mindfulness? It's just paying attention on purpose in the present moment without judging. So it's keeping our consciousness alive to the present reality, just like you did now. Just closing the eyes and just being in the present moment for one minute made you come today. So think of it if you're doing it on every day. Now, do you know the difference between mindfulness and meditation? Sarah has said something. I've been practicing meditation of late before unable to focus in the present, but getting better. My brain was blank and heart raising. Could hear my breath. That's great, Sarah. Yeah. So do you know the difference between mindfulness and meditation? Let me just tell you. 
So mindfulness is just becoming aware of what is happening around. Okay. If you're coloring, you just, you know, if you color it very mindfully, the things that you're doing, the colors that you're taking, all these things can be mindfulness or being mindful in nature. When you are taking a walk outside, you're just listening to the sounds, just as, you know, somebody said like they heard the sound of birds. Likewise, being mindful or becoming aware of what is happening. Just taking a moment and becoming aware of what is happening surrounding you or inside you. Whereas meditation is, we specifically direct our attention to some specific focus. For example, like visualization. We'll be visualizing something and we'll be trying to focus on that part. So that lets our mind calm. And also certain mantras or some, you know, rituals that we do during the meditation. All these things helps to direct your attention to a specific focus. That is meditation. But whatever is happening now, just like if you're making a coffee or if you're making, you know, something like a breakfast or if you're writing something or if you're listening to something, whatever it is you are doing, you're not changing that. Just becoming aware of what you're doing. If you're just eating a chocolate, just the taste and texture of the chocolate and enjoying that piece of chocolate can be mindfulness. Okay. So I hope you understood the difference between mindfulness and meditation. So mindfulness is something which we can incorporate easily into our daily life with a bit of experience and practice. If you can put a little bit of time and effort, it's very much easy to incorporate in our daily life. So basically, there are three key features for mindfulness. The first one is purpose. So we purposefully direct our attention rather than letting it wander. So when you are eating, okay, there may be many things going on to your mind, right? But if you are mindful and then you are eating, purposefully you are directing your attention to that eating process. So that is the purpose needed for mindfulness. Next one is present. Being fully engaged with and attentive to the present moment. So if you are eating, you are just focusing on the eating process. The things that you, that's in your plate, the color of them, the taste of it, the smell of it, everything. Okay. And finally, acceptance. Being non-judgmental toward whatever arises in that moment. Sometimes during that eating process, you'll be thinking like, why am I chewing like this? Or, you know, why am I eating like this? Why my plate is not looking good? Some kind of thoughts can arise. So without being judgmental, just being aware of what is happening there or how you are eating. That is the basic key features of mindfulness. So you need to have a purpose. You should be present and you need to accept it without any judgment. So basically what mindfulness is, it helps to manage stress and anxiety and improve our sleep. How? by awareness of ourselves, our behaviors, whatever we are doing, the way we react automatically, or our decision making, or what are the things that we pay attention to, or our thoughts and how we relate to these thoughts. All these things comes under mindfulness. And what mindfulness is not, it's not a quick fix to all your health condition or all the problems that you're having. It's not something religious related to any of the religion. It's not a therapy method and it's nothing dangerous. It's just becoming aware of what is happening, which can make you calm just as we did in the start and then helps us to manage the stress and anxiety and finally to improve our sleep as well. So there are some benefits and research works done in mindfulness. Scientifically, it has been proven that mindfulness can improve our attention the sensory processing that's going on and it can regulate our emotions. It can really decrease the level of stress hormone called cortisol. And also it helps with chronic pain issues. It can improve our pain tolerance. It reduces the muscle tension and also it reduces the craving. So these are some benefits which have been scientifically proven with mindfulness. 
So how we can do mindfulness in today's lifestyle? So what are your thoughts on multitasking? Let me ask you. Are you a person who do many tasks at the same time? Do you, you know, do you do multitasking? Let's quickly have a reply on this chat box. All your thoughts on multitasking. Is multitasking good or bad? That looks like this, yes. Okay, there are many multitaskers here. Nikki is also saying yes. Christine says, don't like multitasking. That looks like this, it's really bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, there are many people who do multitasking. So what are your thoughts on it? Is it good or bad? Susan is also multitasking. Leanne is also, yes. Always multitasking, Shriya says. Shana is saying, I'm still doing it. Okay. Yeah, Reluka says, as you don't truly focus on any of them. Yes, that is the point. If you are not focusing on any of a single task, that can actually take a toll on your mental health, basically. So studies have proven that multi multitasking can reduce your IQ levels and also productivity. But that also depends on person. There are some person who do multitasking, which helps them attain their goals that they need to reach by the end of the day, which makes them calm. So that is a different kind of thing. Otherwise, if you are doing multitasking on a regular basis, without having awareness on what you are doing, you won't be realizing that stress that is causing because of the multitasking or many things that you are doing on your daily life. So that affects your mental health. So that actually depends on people, but still multitasking is exactly contradictory to what we are saying now about the mindfulness. So in order to have mindfulness, you will have to focus on what you are doing. But still, there are some people who can do multitasking with mindfulness. So that is another level. So first, we need to start with simple mindfulness. And then let's see if we can also multitask with the technique of mindfulness. So there are basically seven pillars of mindfulness for your everyday life that I have to tell. Okay, first one. So when you are going to start practicing mindfulness, you need to be non-judgmental. Do not judgment, judge your practice. You need to be unbiased while practicing. So why am I thinking like this? Why are these thoughts coming to me when, when I am doing mindfulness? So when, you know, somebody else was doing mindfulness, they were able to focus but I am not, these kind of thoughts are that big no-no, okay? So first, do not be judgmental to your own thoughts or your own practice of mindfulness. That is the first thing. Then the second one is trust. Having trust in yourself. So let me ask you, do you really believe that you can practice mindfulness? Is there someone who does not, you know, actually believe that yeah i have heard like people saying that this is not my cup of tea so other you know people like this here just curious to know have you ever thought like that no this won't be possible for me do you ever had such thoughts now quickly tell me yes or no sarah says yes i like it Mm -hmm. Okay, no worries. Yeah. The first thing that you have to have in yourself is the trust that you can do it. Oh, Nikki had this thought in the beginning that you won't be able to do the mindfulness. But I, I suppose it must have changed now since you are a person who does mindfulness. Yes, that's great. Yeah, so Nikki is our example. She didn't have that trust, but obviously with practice and experience, she is now doing mindfulness. Then the next is you need to have a beginner's mind. Accept that you know nothing. Anything can happen during this mindfulness practice. Like you may wander, your mind may wander, you may have lots of thoughts, you may not reach the goal that you want to reach. Yeah. So accept that fact and then start. Next is letting go. Practice the art of letting go. So 
if you're having some thought, like if you're doing mindfulness at the end of the day, maybe something, you know, bad happened during that day, that will again come to your mind. Just let that go. Just let, just let that be there, that you are aware of that incident and it's there. Yeah, you're not judging yourself. Then the next is non-striving. That is practicing that you are enough and you do not need anything for meanwhile. Just focus on you. Now the next one is acceptance. Accept all the feelings that you're getting. Sometimes you may get the feeling of shame. Just accept it that you are getting it. Okay. And finally, the beginner's mind. So the most important thing is having a beginner's attitude towards everything that you do. So try to learn everything from the very start. Now, how you can practice mindfulness in everyday life? So choosing to be mindful of one or two regular activities. Let's start with one or two regular daily activities that you do without any change. Let's start with like brushing your teeth. Just be mindful while you brush your teeth. Yeah, the feeling that you get when the brush is touching your teeth and the feeling of freshness that you are getting after brushing your teeth. You know, all these kind of things. Likewise, they choose two simple activities, daily activities that you do and try to be mindful of these activities. Likewise, if you punctuate the day with a few mini mindful exercises, taking advantages of opportunities of mindfulness as they arise. So sometimes you may be seeing someone making a dish. Just be mindful of what are the process they are doing. Or sometimes someone may be talking to you. Just listen to their sound, the frequency, the vibration that you are feeling when you consciously focus on that speech. Likewise, choose small, small activities, simple, simple activities and take the advantage of this opportunity, grab the opportunity and start practicing mindfulness. So it's not like, you know, something very big or something you need to put a lot of time into it, but still you can do mindfulness in your daily life. So making mindfulness a habit can actually make your ordinary activities alive. Just try to do that. And even if brushing your teeth can become so alive and it can, you know, make yourself feel more calm and it reduces the stress levels. So can you imagine you're brushing your teeth for the past, like, you know, 40, 50 years. And this technique can actually make that activity so alive that it will help you to reduce or your stress levels or to calm your mind. And... When you're doing something mindfully, the activity or the actions that you have done that do not leave us too abruptly, it stays. And also it helps to continue being mindful into the next activity. So when you do these things as a habit, it actually becomes, you know, a good habit for being mindful in all the activities that you do. So after that, you can feel the difference. So as I said, mindfulness is a habit. It's something the more one does, the more likely one is to be in that mode with less and less effort. So the more you do, you'll have to put less effort to have this mindfulness habit. So it's a skill which can be learned. It can be done by everyone. There is no one who can say like, you know, I cannot practice this. There's nothing like that. It's a skill that can be learned. So it's accessing something we already have. We do not have to have any new, you know, new things or any new materials to start this as a habit. We are actually doing any activities which can be started as with mindfulness, making mindfulness as a habit. So actually doing mindfulness is not difficult, but what's difficult to is to remember to be mindful while you are you are doing the activity. So it's difficult to remember to be mindful while you are brushing your teeth, right? But it's not difficult to be mindful during brushing the teeth. So that's the difference. So 
So once you have you cross this difficulty of remembering things, like remembering being mindful, that is when you can actually have the practice for longer period. So it comes as a habit itself. Now, how can we start practicing mindfulness? So learning how to be mindful, till now, whatever I have talked, it's only the tip of the iceberg. It's just the start, right? So what how can we you know practice mindfulness daily it's about familiarizing what it feels to be and like to be mindfulness and also getting better at this remembering like the being mindful remembering this thing that you need to be mindful that is the thing that we have to put more focus and more effort on to be remember to be mindful and if you are doing that for a constant period, almost any activity can be turned into mindfulness practice. Does that sound good? So there are these are some five you know, mini exercises which you can start with wherever you are. Even if we at workplace or if you're at a party or if you are doing you know, something in the kitchen, anywhere you are, you can just practice these five mindful exercises. The first one is body scan. You can just scan your body. Give your total focus and attention to your complete body. You can be mindful to whatever you see, whatever is there surrounding you. You can just be mindful. Just look at the color. So just now, just you know, look at your surrounding. Focus on something. Just look at the color of it, the texture of it. You know, that is also a mindful exercise. Next is mindful listening. As I said, if something, someone is speaking to you or if two people are speaking, you can just listen to their sound, the vibration that they create and all this, you know, simple mindful exercises. Then the next is the, the one we did in the beginning, mindful breathing, just focusing on our breathe. That can itself make us calm. And the next one is the five senses exercise. Now, what is this five senses exercise? This is a direct involvement of one of your five senses. Now, how can we do that? The five things that you see. Look at five things that you see and try to be mindful with that five things. Four is four things you hear. Just focus on four things that you hear. Maybe someone speaking, maybe the sound of a fan or maybe, you know, sound of a wind or sound of birds or something else. Likewise, four things that you can hear and three things that you can feel. You can just feel the temperature of the room. If anything is not there, you can just try to feel whether it's warm, whether it's cold, you know, whether it's, is there any breeze? Likewise, you can just look the things, I mean, feel the things, three things. Then try to smell two things. Just you know, the, you, you can smell yourself, the first thing that's, you know, possible anywhere. And you can smell the smell of the room or if there is something called a flower or some, you know, perfume things around, surrounding you, you can just smell it. And finally, one thing to taste. So if there is nothing available for you to taste, just, you know, observe your taste that is there already present in the mouth. So these are the senses exercises which you can always practice, which can make you being more mindful, which can help you to start practicing mindful. So these are some simple exercises. Now, to have this mindfulness, the first thing that you need is an anchor. What is an anchor? It's an object of attention during mindfulness practice. For example, breath. As I said, now also just focus on your breath just focus on your breath entering and leaving your body are you able to focus just on the breath entering and leaving just focus on your tip of nostrils you can just feel you know a warm when you are exhaling and a coolness when you are inhaling are you able to just focus on that. Yes. 
so likewise so this breath is an anchor that is the thing that you need for the you know practice of mindfulness then the next is as i said while you are eating taste and texture of food these are some examples there are basically practically limitless things that you can make to be anchor and start your mindfulness practice but it's always possible to be distracted okay and this is okay and to be ex expected during the start of the practice the one thing that you have to do is returning to the anchor so if you have fixed something to be that object of attention try to return to it when your mind gets distracted so generally refocus your attention on the anchor so the first thing that we'll do is we'll be setting an intention to pay attention to the anchor just now as i said let's take it as breathe okay so just focus your attention on your breath it sounds or as i said the feel of your breath okay and when you close and just start to focusing on your breath your mind will start to wander it will have memories of your last vacation last night or last talk with some of your friends or anything that you have seen or heard during the day okay or it will start to plan like how you know how planning can be done for the next holiday or you know the next working day your to do list the grocery list and the list goes on and also it can start worrying maybe worrying about your children your parents or something about your health condition anything there are endless things that will come to your mind when you try to close your eyes and just focus on your breath am i right have you experienced this mm -hmm. yes i'm sure you must have experienced this so the one thing that you have to do at that point of time is that you have to realize that your mind has wandered so if the memories are coming if some worrying things are coming or if you know your mind is starting to planning what to do next day you just have to realize that your mind has wandered and again set your intention to pay attention to the anger that is again try to focus on your breath so this will be a cycle when you start the you know that this practice this goes on like this you will be starting to focus on your breath and then again your mind goes somewhere and you realize that the mind has wandered and again you will be focusing on breath so when you repeatedly do this with experience i must say that one day you will reach at that point that your mind will slowly stop wandering and will help you to be mindful with all the practice that you are trying to be so that was experience with time and practice your mind will slowly settle into calmness and it will be able for your mind to focus for longer period okay so how is that possible so instead of you know simply being lured away from the anchor it will be easier to simply notice them and let them pass all the emotions all the memories or something you know whatever is coming to your mind you'll be just noticing them you will be able to let them pass which is very much needed and that comes with experience so that's the little bit of time and effort that you have to give in order to be mindful and other thing is you can experiment yourself how by creating your own mindfulness now these are some examples which i gave like focusing on eating focusing on your breath brushing your teeth all these things are my examples which i give you but you can create your own mindfulness whichever you like whatever activity you like or whatever hobby you have or whatever things that you like to do just being mindful is the only thing that you need to take care of for example if you are taking a walk on nature just be mindful of the sensation on the soles of your feet as you walk or when you are having your morning coffee or when you are having some drink or herbal tea whatever it is the smell the taste the texture of the drink that you are having so likewise you can ritualize and have a structured practice of mindfulness which will take just like you know less than 10 minutes in a day but it can create 
more and more of positive experiences in your life. Now let's discuss about some common problems and tips for dealing with them. The first thing that people will say is, I don't have time. I don't have time to maintain a mindful pra mindfulness practice. How many agree with me? Do you have time to do mindfulness practice or do some, you know, to just focus on something? Do you have time? Or all the time, like being mindful and doing all these things? Okay. Yeah. So usually, it's finding the time to maintain a mindfulness practice that people would say. Okay. So let's keep in mind only just 10 minutes of practice a day actually adds up. Okay. So we, we usually say, like, those who do not have time to meditate need to meditate the most. That is the thing. So th those who do not have time to do mindfulness, need to start practicing mindfulness very soon i would say then the most common problem that arise during mindfulness is i can't stop thinking so do you have any solutions for this to someone who says like i can't stop thinking Lani is saying like when i do breath work i am now able to just focus on breathing very rare now that my mind wanders that's great land So is there any tips for someone who can't stop thinking? Raluca is saying Tibetan vowel sounds. The sleep part of the app. That's great, Len. Okay. What I would say to someone who can't stop thinking is not to resist them. Just think. If you can't stop thinking, just think. Do not resist your thoughts to come up. And notice these thoughts. Just notice without identifying or without going with them. Okay? Just notice the thoughts coming. So that is the thing that you have to practice. You just have to notice the thoughts and let them go. Yeah? But do not resist the thoughts. Let them come. Let the thoughts come. Notice the thoughts and then just give away this. As if you are observing your own thoughts from a distance. So imagine that you are not inside your body. You have some thoughts coming, maybe you know about your children or about the last argument that you had. Okay, fine. Let that thoughts be there. Just observe the thoughts from a distance. So if this thing can be practiced, then this problem will be solved. Like I can't stop thinking. Then the next is I feel too restless to be mindful. Is there any experience like that? Being too restful. Sorry, restless. Yeah. So if you are feeling restless, first try to understand that it's normal to feel restless. So when you are, you know, trying to be grounded, trying to be mindful, it's normal to feel restless in the start. Mainly, you know, most of the time you'll be feeling like, you know, you need to go there and take that things. All these things will come to your mind when you start to be mindful. But just stick with the practice until your mind and your body have the time to slow down. Just give it some time. After that, it will become normal. Yeah. Then the next is I feel too tired to be mindful. So whenever you try to start mindfulness, it's like feeling so tired. Susan is saying, like, I'm very restless. Yeah, that's okay, Susan. As I said, like, it's normal to feel, like, restless. Okay, just give some time and you'll be okay. Yeah, so is there someone who feels so tired to be mindful? You feel so tired to do these exercises. Is there someone like that? And what to have? What do we have to do when you feel so tired? Do we have to just stop doing the mindfulness? No. 
the thing that you have to do is if you are feeling tired slow down and check your tiredness just check your tiredness and if you suspect that your this tiredness is coming from bored bored up like when you are doing mindfulness you are just bored to be you know be mindful and to focus on things like that but if you suspect this you can have some physically active mindful practice so if you feel bored to be you know to just focus on what you are eating or you know simply those exercises are keeping you bored and then you are feeling tired do one thing take some physically active mindfulness exercises like walking or running jogging etc and then have mindfulness accordingly or if you are constantly feeling tired whatever you do you are feeling tired then check your sleep habits if you have not slept well then tiredness is one companion that we have the whole day so just check with that and try to correct those habits and then you will be feeling good okay so whenever you feel tired while you practice mindfulness slow down and check yourself what's exactly going on with you that is the thing that you have to do and do not stop practicing mindfulness because of the tiredness now the other things that people would say is dealing with uncomfortable emotions that rise you feel the urge to resist them sometimes when you try to be mindful there is this anxiety that builds up inside you right there's something not happening you know right there's some some problem so you feel very restless very uncomfortable emotions arise so just allow them to arise without judging them just don't judge yourself why am i feeling so anxious what's happening with me no judgments just allow to arise and focus on observing the physical sensation if ever you have with the emotion for example when you have this anxious feeling if you feel like the tightness in your chest just observe that tightness okay and then after some time you will be you will calm down if that's not happening if these emotions are very powerful and very especially disturbing then seek support from a professional so we have like you know meditation techniques called smriti meditation which actually helps with dealing this uncomfortable emotions that arise from nowhere that you are not aware of so it you know in conscious level it may feel like you know everything is okay everything is fine but just as you close your eyes and start practicing mindfulness sometimes this uncomfortable emotion may arise so that's okay you'll feel the urge to resist them but allow to arise them without judging them and also focus on observing the physical sensation that these emotions cause and if at all it's not going away take a support from a professional okay so the next time you are feeling anxious stressed or uncomfortable take a moment to check in with yourself and be more mindful just check on yourself what is happening with me and if someone comes along and shoots an arrow in your heart what do you think it's fruitless to stand there and yell that yell at that person right in order instead what you have to do is to turn your attention to the fact that there is an arrow in your heart right instead of yelling at the other person just try to be mindful and just try to check on yourself what is happening inside you because of this incident so if you can practice this regularly that something which will help you to be grounded and to be more productive and energetic throughout the day thank you so much for your patient listening ladies i hope this session helped uh there are some responses in the chat uh, okay okay avni is saying too tired to do it mhm mm yeah i hope the session helped to practice or to incorporate mindfulness in your daily life so next we have the yoga session but before that i'd like to briefly introduce what nirva is all about to all of you who are new here so at nirva we are focused on making you healthy inside out a 
Our mission is to help you take a few steps towards a healthy and a happy life. So we give personalized treatment plans based on Ayurveda and yoga for chronic health conditions in women like menopause management, gut health, and joint health. So who is helping you with this journey? Nirva is a unique team of certified Ayurveda practitioners who are experts in their field. Certified yoga professionals with over 10,000 hours of experience in therapeutic yoga and caring health coaches to help you with everything that you need during your holistic healing journey with Nirva. We also have a robust and closely connected community of women across the UK who share a goal of leading a healthy and happy life. And we have already recently launched our exclusive Facebook community as well called the Nirva Circle. And I suppose like everybody must have joined the Facebook group. And this is what we recently have planned is about the Nirva retreats to experience wellness like never before with Nirva at World's Best Resort. The dates planned are August 2023, October 2023, and February 2024. If you want to know more about it, check with your health coach, or also you can mail it care at nirvahealth.com to know about the retreat more. Now it's time to do the yoga. So as we always say during the practice, Always perform the practices very slowly with awareness of body and mind. Breathing should be always through nostrils unless instructed otherwise. Do not hold your breath unless it is specifically instructed and you should end the practices with proper relaxation or cooling down practices. And after the practice, do not take bath or have food immediately after the session. That is for at least 30 minutes. So for taking the yoga session, we have Dr. Kushbu here. Dr. Kushbu is a certified yoga practitioner with education in naturopathy and yoga, holding experience in health and wellness roles. So I wholeheartedly welcome Dr. Kushbu to take over the session to start with the yoga part to foster mindfulness in you. Over to you, Dr. Kushbu. Thank you so much, Dr. Shanaz. So I hope all of you had a lot of education by Dr. Shanaz, and it's time to incorporate all that into a yoga session. So I hope that all of you went through everything, all these changes in your body as Dr. Shana spoke about it. A lot of things might be very familiar to you. A lot of things might be not that familiar to you. So right now, we are going to try to practice all what we spoke now into this real moment. So not every moment in your life is going to be filled with high momentum and movement. And that is perfectly fine. Okay, so before I jump on, let me just give you a note today. So in case you've undergone any recent surgeries or any injuries, so kindly avoid the practice and take the advice of your physician before you start. And you know your body better than anyone else. So in case there's any kind of stiffness, any kind of limitations, you're not able to move today, it's okay. Rest and take this as an experience session as a takeaway. In case you have any kind of severe health complications and your uh, doctors advised you not to practice. It's okay completely. So you can take this again as an experience session. So I hope that all of you are all ready to start today. And today's special topic is about yoga to foster mindfulness. Before I start, I just want to say you that all the time our life cannot be like a picture perfect one. Sometimes there are moments where you're filled with energy, you're filled with momentum, you're filled with all those things. And sometimes there are uh, time when everything just spirals down into a chaos. So there's going to be both of these. So you should know that there's always going to be a transitionary period between good having high energy and between bad having low energy. So there's going to be this under the soil growth moment and sometimes an action moment of growth happening. So today we are going to see a gentle clip of this same called the cyclic meditation where it is about two different things, a rhythmic series of relaxation and a rhythmic series of also stimulation through yogic postures. So now we are going to relax down. We are going to transition ourselves again, get into a few postures and then again relax down. So this is going to be the series today, what you're going to practice. So I hope that it's going to be a little new to you. It's okay. Give time to your body. Ease it out. Take your own time and practice this along with me. So the entire session, try keeping your perception of hearing and your perception of feelings open. 
and at the same time there would be a mild background music to just soothe you out so just slowly transition yourself into it and we are going to transition from the lying posture to the standing and again lying so be very gentle and mindful when you do such things make yourself comfortable and take up your space your yoga corner and let's gently start so slowly keep your eyes closed keeping your eyes closed gently let's ground ourselves focusing on the makara so keeping your palms open just assure yourself today that we are going to practice the perfect word mindfulness that is going to be fully at this moment your mind fully in this present moment now just breathe in and as you breathe out chant makara for three rounds breathe in yourself to feel this frequency to ease out to let go of all the tension slowly bring your palms together rub it against each other take a gentle cup and place it on your eyes there it is so let's start with a nice instant relaxation technique so you're going to just slowly sensitize each part of your body So slowly take up a lying posture out stretch your legs your hands just nicely give a good distance between both your feet and your hands out stretch by the side of the body just focus upon your breath now feel that you're going to move around you're going to rotate your consciousness from one point to another point and keep moving it's about the movement it's about keeping the energy flow into your body so let's start gently focus upon the toes slowly focus upon the soles of your feet sensitize each part of your body your ankle joint slowly your front part of the leg your knee joint your thighs your inner thigh your outer thigh slowly focus upon settling your hips to the floor feel your hips open to the floor just feel your spine soothing down there from the nape of your neck to the tip of your tailbone just eased to the floor gently feel your neck muscles your upper back and your collarbone feeling light there's no more weight on your shoulders your entire hand your arm your forearm your elbow your wrist and the palms everything just open in a receival mode it's ready to receive all the offerings the universe has to offer feel a very nice closure at your chest feel that you are much deeper here breathing through your abdomen just focus on just that abdominal moment that's the only moment which you feel right now everything is still 
stay there for a few seconds and just affirm yourself with one word i am rooted here at this moment i am rooted here at this moment i am rooted here at this moment now time to give an awakening feeling to so start wiggling your fingers wiggle your toes stretch the way you like just stretch your hands above your head and stretch your body entirely a nice tightness and release now slowly turn towards the right side and gently take up a nice sitting posture and now as you sit here keep your palms open lay there and we're just going to give gentle circles here keeping your eyes closed just revolve yourself gently as gentle circles just keep your breath on and just revolve a gentle circles now the opposite way keeping your eyes closed so your body can feel this momentum so your body can feel that there's something unsteady happening right now but you're still able to gather yourself relax now gently keeping your eyes partially open take up a standing posture slowly transition yourself into a standing now we're going to keep your hands free here and you're just going to transfer all the weight now right now to the right hand side so just gently lift your left leg and try feeling that all the weight is towards the right cling on to the right so you can slightly sway towards your right side feel a little bit of heaviness on your right heaviness on your feet heaviness on your hip the shoulder swaying down a gentle load on the right keeping your eyes closed focus on all the tightness you feel at the right now slowly come back to the center now time to do it on the left sway yourself gently to the left put everything on to your left keeping your eyes closed just feel that you just too tight at your left all the burden on your left now just come straight I just gently try leaning forward a little lean not much just a little stooping in the forward feel that everything is just pushed forward it's overwhelming a lot of discomfort straighten yourself or gently make a fist place at your back and give a gentle back stretch just feel that all the weight on your back on your legs just gently come back so now you know that putting weight on any side of the body is not going to help so right now what's going to help is gently open your eyes focus at the point slowly just gather all the hope be mindful focus at the point slowly breathe in stretch your hands above your head and gently come on your toes stay focused there beautiful you are just very calm you're not leaning on to anything just uprooted uplifted away from everything slowly inhale and drop yourself down very nice now just gently let keep the same upliftment and take a gentle lying posture again slowly lie down onto the floor place your palms by the side of your body now gently fold both your knees and slowly bring it close to your chest and envelop your hands around your knees now just stay here and take a couple of breath embrace whatever flows inside you it can be any kind of an emotion 
grief frustration anger disappointment whatever just flows embrace yourself time to hold your cocoon time to gather yourself no matter what it's you and the feeling you're not that feeling it's two separate entity the feeling and you and you're ready here to embrace that feeling like a friend Now slowly drop your legs down place it flat onto the floor your knees still folded your hands by the side of the body now you're going to bridge that gap between your feelings and you by slowly taking a bridge posture exhale slowly uplift your hips up so you're forming a beautiful bridge to ground it down to the floor so whatever is right now overwhelming at your heart is slowly getting rooted to your feet the posture holds a lot of significance as and when you feel rooted and grounded gently drop your hips down sink it down to the floor beautiful you feel much lighter much breathable and gently outstretch your legs again your hands open and gently focus on the abdominal movement now Watch your abdomen rise up as breath is getting filled into it. The empty space is getting filled with a nourishing breath. Exhale and watch your abdomen sinking in. Inhale, watch your abdomen rising up. Exhale and watch it sinking in. You're connected. You're deep. You're rooted. now let your anxious mind know that even though it's surrounded by a lot of doubt and a lot of worry you're going to approach it with curiosity and and non judgment you're not going to approach every thought with a curiosity and non judgment you're going to always keep a distance and not let yourself float over it and you're going to bridge that distance whenever you feel comfortable sometimes it cannot be right now right at the moment but you can definitely do it every uncertainty is going to be little discomfort but you're going to feel that uncertainty and acknowledge that as another part of you it's okay you may not know what's there on the other side but you're going to accept it as another part of you Stay there for a few seconds. Focus on your breath whenever you're distracted. Your anchor is right here at your breath and your abdominal moment. Now just foster two beautiful things here. Forgive and forget. So just try to scan your body and feel what you are feeling right now. Is it like a tightness in your chest? Is it like a heaviness in your head? Is it like a numbing sensation? Is it like a lot of grief in your heart? Is it like a pitting anxiety sensation in your stomach? What do you feel right now? Acknowledge and validate that feeling. 
now consider your right hand to be the feeling or the value of forgiveness and your left hand to be the value of forget forgetfulness so some feeling which is there because of the anger because of the frustration or because of anything which you caused it for your own self forgive that by placing your right hand over it and something which was caused by someone else and you're not able to take that load place your left hand over it and forget it nurture these two values right now forgive with your right hand whatever has been caused by you forget with your left hand whatever has been caused by someone else bring in these two beautiful values into your body right now right at this moment whatever discomfort is there soothe it with your right hand and your left hand embrace this slowly go back and focus on your abdominal breath settle your body into your breath you did a great job today you practiced the most difficult thing and you nailed it and slowly awaken yourself from all the storm and embrace the peace which you chose today slowly wiggle your toes wiggle your fingers stretch your hands above your head and time to gently take a nice side line and come to a sitting posture come back open your palms you are rooted here at the present moment you are rooted here at the present moment you are rooted here at the present moment though this time might not be enough today you're going to keep fostering this inside you now gently breathe in and as you breathe out chant makara mm your palms together rub it against each other you can chant to cup and place it on your eyes eat out so i hope that all of you got the opportunity to embrace a lot of things to root yourself and also to practice this beautiful way of also stimulating and relaxing at the same moment thank you all of you for taking this uncomfortable sensation inside you and letting it out and sharing the space thank you so much over to you dr shana thank you so much dr kushbu for the wonderful session i hope everyone loved it yeah line is asking about the link of the music kushbu yes yeah, sure. if sure i'll just post it here in the chat box yeah I hope everyone enjoyed the session and if you have any doubts please unmute yourself and you can just ask it or we'll have a discussion Yeah Kushbu has put the link for this music in the chat box then please find it on in the chat box it's there Thank you. Thank you Sarah. Great session.
Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. I hope the, now you'll be starting to incorporate mindfulness. Sorry? I hope like you'll be starting to incorporate mindfulness in your daily life. Yes, absolutely. It's brilliant. Um, it's really helped to calm my mind and everything and focus. And yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Thank you, Shanaz. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye, Bye everyone. Thank you so Thank much, you Thank you, Christine. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you so much, ladies, for joining us today. Bye and have a good night. You too. Meet you next week. Yes. Thank bye. you.